Welcome to the Grand Rapids showroom. I'm Stefan Schwartz, the product manager for Ironwood Machinery, and here we are standing in front of an SL200 sliding table saw. This sliding table saw is truly the workhorse of the woodworking world and is capable of doing various cuts, whether you're doing straight cuts, trim cuts, miter cuts, does not matter. This is an absolute Swiss Army knife of a machine, and it is perfect for any small or medium-sized shop or even in a one-off location in a larger facility. Working complementary with many other equipment in the building, this saw is capable of doing absolute straight cuts back and forward. With the sliding table carriage here, this particular model has a 10 and a half foot table uh, capable of cutting essentially any size panel you could throw at it. But with our vertical weight distribution and guidance here, it's very easy for an operator to maneuver a panel, even at a full size, completely through the cut, straight back and straight forward, making a perfectly straight cut every time. Taking a look underneath the hood of the SL200, in comparison to its older brother, uh, all the uh, up, down, tilt, and scoring blade adjustments here are actually manual. So we've got our hand wheel adjustments on the front of the machine, which operate the height and tilt of the main blade. This saw is capable of tilting up to 45 degrees to the right side, as well as capable of housing a 14 inch blade for cutting through thicker work pieces. Our scoring blade right here in the front is actually a quick adjust tool so that you can change both the kerf as well as the uh, width laterally and height up and down uh, using these adjustment knobs right here as well. The kerf is adjusted uh, manually on the actual scoring unit itself using an Allen key. Uh, but in conjunction to all these things, they're essentially giving us a great chip-free straight edge that you can either take to assembly directly after if you're doing a solid wood piece or if you're in the melamine sheet good world, uh, giving you a, an edge good enough to take to your edge bander directly there. Uh, the overhead blade guard obviously gives you extraction as well, so we've got excellent dust extraction with this machine, as well as a nice, large, robust safety guard, making sure that the operator's hands are kept away from the, the cutting area at all times. Taking a closer look at the SL200's controls, we've got a very operator-friendly, manually adjustable setup right here in the base of the saw, easily accessed by any operator. Our main blade height, is adjustable by hand wheel right here at the bottom. Simply release this locking lever and I can adjust my main blade height up and down manually, whether to rise the blade up to cut through thicker work pieces and achieve my full projection or to pull it down into the base of the saw at the end of a shift for safety reasons. Um, additionally, uh, my tilt is no different. So right here I have the uh, hand wheel capable with my cast iron tilt trunnions of making a very smooth, very easy tilting flow here. So whether I'm cutting at 22 and a half degrees for a custom job or I'm cutting at a true 45, it's extremely easy uh, with this dial right here to do a digital readout at any specific angle you want. Simply lock it back into place and my tilt is now completely capable of staying in one spot. My blade height is constant and I can have multiple operators repeat the same job, uh, whether it's one day or the next, um, having accuracy and consistency and all of my production flow. My scoring saw is adjusted with using these two hand knobs as well. So I've got a lateral adjustment as well as my height adjustment up and down so I can match the kerf of the main blade as well using the scoring system itself to make sure I'm getting those chip free cuts. But additionally, I have my main saw and scoring saw on and off buttons in the, in the base of the saw as well, as well as an e-stop and a simple on off button. Uh, the main and scoring saws are both controlled uh, with these two and each have an a independent motor brake so that if and when I activate the stop button or hit an e-stop, both blades come to a stop extremely quickly, promoting safety for the operator as well as for the people surrounding the saw. One unique feature of the Ironwood sliding table saws is the vertical weight distribution, meaning that these chrome hardened steel guideways are both on top of this carriage as well as underneath the sliding table carriage. And in between those, we use gravity in a similar fashion as what you'd see on a train tracks to balance the weight of the sliding table completely vertically. So that means all of the weight is distributed up and down, giving you zero lateral play left and right over the life of the saw, giving you a very accurate straight cut for years to come. Another key feature of Ironwood's SL200 sliding table saw is the Rip Fences digital readout. This allows operators from every shift, regardless of morning, noon, or night, to be able to repeat the exact same cuts to the exact same dimensions that the operator before or after will also seek to achieve. 
Simply unlock the lever and the rip fence will move live to its real time position. If a desired length is wished, simply move into the place of that, lock it down and use the system's fine adjustment knob to tailor it precisely into the exact dimension that you're looking to cut at. Repeatable accuracy every time, regardless of the operator on the saw. Another key feature I want to highlight on this particular model is the pneumatic pressure beam. This beam is capable of mounting to both the SL200 and SL300 models and gives us an entire clamping zone along the length of the sliding table carriage, adding an additional layer of workpiece security as well as operator safety all in one. With two independent clamping zones, both front and back, I can use pneumatic pressure to secure a workpiece in any position on the sliding table saw or stack multiple workpieces on back behind this so that I can complete a very narrow cut, removing all of my hands away from the cutting area. Using this clamp, I can maintain operator safety, accuracy and consistency over the life of the saw, as well as remove this if it becomes in the way at all. So with simply two bolts at either end and a couple of guys, you can lift this up mount it onto the saw or demount it in about two or three minutes time. So an additional air pressure hose right here clamps right onto it with its own air supply. This is an excellent feature to have for both workpiece security and operator safety.